We're living in the most interesting time in human history. Other times thought they were it. They're wrong, this is it. The acceleration of time and space, the level of catastrophe and collapse, the deconstruction, the reconstruction. How do we prepare ourselves for a time in which yesterday looks nothing like tomorrow? Einstein said, the consciousness that created the problem cannot be the same kind of consciousness that solves. We human beings are living at a fraction of our potential. Who we are and what we think we are, I mean, the vast divide. My own background has in some peculiar way prepared me to train people to be adequate stewards of this most extraordinary time. What does it mean to truly love? Where is the soul? What is the nature of the mind? What is it all about? I didn't see or hear anything differently. All I can say is that everything in existence moved into meaning. And I knew absolutely that I and that plane in the sky and my grandfather, everything was deeply interrelated with everything else. It was a great celebration of joy. We are both spirit and flesh. We're both mind and nature. We are both essence and existence. You hear the call, you refuse the call, not now, God, later, you know, maybe when the kids are grown, when I have more money, when I'm skinnier. Get on with it. There's so much to do, there's so much to be. We have within ourselves this vast capacity to awaken to the great cosmic self.